Hi everyone once again, welcome back to my channel. I'm Petra. I'm a life coach and I am still in recovery from narcissistic abuse. So I say that with a smile because um, according to my emotions and feelings, I've healed for about 95% now. So I've still got the other five to go through. So uh, that's a smile. I have uh, conquered Okay, um, I just wanted to uh, once again make a very quick video on um, actually built around a question that one of you sent me. I won't mention your name um, because I believe you wanted to uh, remain anonymous. So uh, the question was, uh, how do I defend myself against the narcissist or toxic person? Let me just check that if I'd... How do I defend myself against the narcissist or toxic person? Um, let me put it this way. I realize what you are going through because when I was in this situation, I would try and defend myself all the time. If something was said that was just untrue or uh, not right, or if it was twisted, I would go into the defense mode. And, you know, of course, I mean, you, you defend yourself from a predator. Um, but at some point, I realized that, you know, you are really fighting a losing battle. There is no way um, that you can win from this kind of person, from this toxic person. Because whatever you say uh, in defense uh, of yourself will be turned around and used against you. So... There's, you know, there's, there's really, it's wasted energy. Don't even, don't even go there, really. But I realize that sometimes you can be in that situation where you just feel that you have to, um, uh, you know, uh, set things straight, as it were. But there's really, there's no point. Rather save your energy and keep it for, um, you know, for getting yourself back on track and, and getting yourself healed. So... Defending yourself against a narcissist is wasted energy and it is you are fighting a losing battle and it is also that you are undermining your own strength, your own power and your own authority. So remember that to realize what you are doing in defending yourself against this person. Um, it's just that you are undermining your own strengths. So stop. Don't do that. Stop defending yourself. Because, you know, the thing is, as well, when you defend yourself, you are giving them narcissistic supply in, and th they need that to be able to uh, do another attack on you or to come back with even more words or more hateful uh, comments or, you know, w whatever they have in their, in their bag of tricks. So the best thing to do is not to defend yourself. It's to get to a point of peace once again where you feel that you do not have to defend yourself anymore. And I realize that this is easier once you have left the narcissist. Then it gets a lot easier to just go silent, to just, you know, um, put your guard up. It is easier when you have broken away. Um, so that I understand. I mean, if you are in the middle of this uh, relationship, then it is very hard, you know, it's very easy for me to say, do not defend yourself. But I realize how, how difficult that is because um, that is just human nature to want to defend yourself. So I hope that has answered your question. And I, um, uh, you know, um, in regards to your question, I jotted down a few more um, points that I would like to bring up because I think that this is all intertwined with a very valuable question that you brought up. So... Just to go down the points again, um, when you are being the bigger person, and I realize again that this is a difficult thing, but when you are being the bigger person, you will ultimately give yourself the satisfaction and the validation that you are craving for. Because that, it was, that is what it really is. When you are being attacked by the narcissist and you want to defend yourself, um, all you are really wanting is the validation uh, from, from the narcissistic personality. Um, you will not get it. You just will not get it. So you have to be the bigger person in this. 
you have to once again stand up straight, stand with confidence and um, speak your truth. I realize that when, when you are an empath, because most empaths are caught up in these very toxic relationships. So when you are an empath, um, you tend to put the needs of others ahead of your own needs. You tend to not set boundaries. You tend to let others um, use your goodness. So I realized that, that it can be very difficult as an empath to, um, you know, to be the bigger person. I went through the same thing and it's really something that can be learnt. You know, if you do not have, if it's, if it doesn't come natural to you, you can learn how to do that. And, um, of course I cannot explain how you do that in a, in a quick video on YouTube, but I do offer, of course, one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you would like, if you would like, um, to receive that one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, then, you know, please feel uh, free to get in touch. Um, for those of you outside of Holland, that can be done through Skype or through email. So I leave that up to you. Um, once again, in the relationship with the narcissist, your intuition is your best defense. So coming back again to the anonymous uh, viewer's question, your intuition is your best defense. So when you feel that something is not right, follow that. Listen to that. I mean, you can go from your intuition back into your head and you can try and rationalize everything and try to make sense of crazy. Now, please tell me, how do you make sense of crazy? It is just impossible. So come back to that inner peace once again. Follow your intuition. Your intuition is your body's way of telling you that something is good or that something is bad. It's as simple as that. Moving on to the next point. Narcissists or toxic people come into our lives to teach us valuable lessons. And of course, I cannot speak for you. The lesson is something that you need to focus on um, and that you need to get clear for yourself. But when I speak for myself, my valuable lesson in this whole uh, relationship with um, the narcissist, the toxic person, was that I learned how to set my boundaries. So where in the past my boundaries were weak, were shaky, were not um, visible to myself and to the other person, now they have become strong and they have become very visible, they have become very clear and now it is not so easy for anyone whom I do not really want in my space. It is, it makes it difficult for them to cross over those boundaries. So once again, um, learn the valuable lesson from being in a toxic relationship like this. And when you have just come out of it, of course, all you want to do is heal yourself and comfort yourself and you are not looking for the lesson. But believe me, at some point, the lesson will become clear to you. So um, just take from that, you know, that um, these people are just coming to teach us valuable lessons. And I really believe this as a spiritual life coach. I believe that there is a lesson in every situation or experience in life. Um, I think my, uh, my final point is that um, if you are centered and focused and calm, it is impossible for the narcissist to get to you. So when you start doing crazy, I mean, you know, realize, as I'm sure most of you already have, when you are dealing with a toxic person or a narcissist, they are crazy. They are absolutely insane. So when you start doing the crazy, I mean, they come at you with crazy. If you decide to react with crazy, then everyone's just doing crazy and there's just no calm, there's no focus, there's no, there's no, um, what is the opposite of crazy? Uh, there's no sane. <laughs> what is the opposite of insane? Sane. So when, when you get involved, when you let yourself be drawn into this crazy, there is no way that you can see the sane in it all or the sense. 
So you are the one with the sense. And do not let yourself be pulled into their crazy, be pulled into their darkness. Um, because when you do this, when you're not focused and centered, then they will pull you into their um, whirlpool of crazy, of insanity, of destruction. And this is not what you want. So stop doing crazy. Um, because when when you start uh, giving them what they need, when you start, uh, uh, you know, or when you continue to supply them with a narcissistic um, supply, um, they love that because they love drawing from your emotions. That is what a narcissist does. They come in and they draw from your emotions. They draw from your happiness. They draw from your feeling good. They draw from all the good qualities that you have. So just don't do crazy. If you stop doing crazy, then there's no way they can draw from you. So once again, focus on yourself. Make sure you are centered. Make sure you are grounded. And um, just, you know, in the middle of this insanity storm, make sure that you retain your calmness and your peacefulness. So... I hope that answered your question. I will call you anonymous. I hope that answered it for you. And uh, if not, then just um, just send me, um, just ask me to uh, elaborate on that. <laughs> okay, um, it's time to party. It is Saturday and I'm uh, ready for a Saturday party. So have a great Saturday wherever you are in the world and uh, have a great weekend. Speak to you all next time. Bye now.